What is going on, GBA? I am the Confusion. And I am O Spastic One. And right now, me and my partner in crime, Spastic, are here to inform you all about the draft taking place for the sixth season of the Global Battle Association. The draft will take place this Saturday, May 7th at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on A-Drive's Twitch stream. There will also be a link in the description below. Now, there are a few different topics we are planning to briefly discuss. Things like franchising, the way the draft works. We also want to show you the tiers, which are separate from standardized Smogon tiers, and the tier changes, meaning some Pokemon have moved up or down the tiers between this season and the last. So now I'm going to hand it over to Spastic and let him explain how franchising works. Now just a quick overview of franchising before we get into the draft rules. Before the draft takes place, each coach has an opportunity to franchise tag a Pokemon. Now this means that they'll spend points out of their free point total in order to get a Pokemon early. Coaches returning from Season 5 can keep one Pokemon from their previous team, and newcoming coaches can franchise any free agents. Now something to note, coaches cannot franchise the same Pokemon for consecutive seasons. Tiers 1 and 2 cost 40 points to franchise, while Tiers 3 and below cost 20 points from a coach's free point total. Moving on, we have the draft rules. Now, as Spastic just mentioned, each team has 400 total points to spend on free picks. But before all that, let's mention that each team has 11 Pokemon on their roster, hence the 11 rounds in the draft. 7 of those 11 Pokemon cost no points, and each team must draft 1 Pokemon from each of the 5 tiers, excluding tier 3 in which 2 Pokemon must be drafted. So that gives each team 6 Pokemon, and the 7th is their Mega, while the last 4 are those free picks, in which teams have 400 points to spend. Each tier costs a certain amount of points, and from this point we'll move on to the tiers and their point costs. Tier 1 costs 180 points from a, the free point total, as these are seen as some of the most powerful Pokemon in the metagame. The GBA is also proud to introduce Volcanion, making its debut in the draft format here in Season 6. Now, something else to note, as mentioned earlier, the GBA has special tiering that is separate from Smogon standards. As such, Landorus Incarnate is allowed, as the counter team format allows for better preparation against it. Also. Gothitelle can be allowed to have Shadow Tag, which makes it a top threat. Now, looking into Tier 2, you might notice some OU Pokemon in there, which just goes to further prove that the smoke on tiers are not exactly identical to that of the GBA. Top threats like Gliscor, Ferrothone, and Bisharp are in Tier 2, as well as a lot of other Pokemon that are versatile and work really well in the Draft League format. Not being as amazing as Tier 1, Tier 2 still holds a lot of crazy threats. Tier 3 costs 100 points. Coaches must draft two Pokemon from this tier to fill out their standard roster, as Tier 3 is often viewed as a very deep and diverse pool to choose from. Now you may notice Greninja here. Greninja is available to be drafted, but it can only have Torrent as its ability. And the same goes for Blaze Blaziken in Tier 4. So here we have the 4th tier, in which we can see some lower threats but still somewhat viable in the correct circumstances. These Pokemon can do really well, but whether it's their stats, their move pools, or their ability to just be versatile in the format, these Pokemon just aren't up to par with some others. As we have seen in the past though, some Pokemon can do really well in the right team or even with the right coach. Also, tier 4 is just a bit bigger than the others, so the leftovers are here. Don't worry, you didn't think we would actually forget about Shuckle and the gang, did you? Tier 5 costs a mere 40 points to draft. While Tier 5 is viewed as the bottom of the metagame, these Pokemon can still be crucial in filling in key gaps in teams. The roster you see here is but a sample of all that Tier 5 has to offer. Essentially, every Mon that isn't in Tiers 1-4 through 4 can be found here, including some not fully evolved Pokemon, such as... Combuskin and Frogadier, which can both have their hidden abilities. Now here's those luxurious Megas that every team wants. So, as you can see, these Mega Pokemon are also split into their own tiers, but being that the Pokemon are Mega and all, most of them find themselves in Tier 1. Yet, as you can see, some of them do fall short and end up in lower tiers. Spasta will talk more about that. 
Drafting a Pokemon from Mega Tier 2 will add 40 points to a coach's free point total. Mega Tier 3 adds 60 points to a coach's total, while Mega Tier 4 will add 80 points. Also, a quick note on Mega Evolution in the GBA. Coaches must Mega Evolve on the first turn that the Pokemon acts. Hence, why Mega Sharpedo, an otherwise fantastic Mega Evolution, was moved down to Mega Tier 4, as it doesn't get the chance to benefit from potential speed boosts. Mega Sharpedo was just one of many tier changes from Season 5 into Season 6. During the offseason, the coaches all got together and deliberated on which Pokemon should be assigned to a new tier. This could be affected by their performance in the previous season, their tested viability, or for experimental purposes. For example, Chansey and Bisharp were moved down from Tier 1 to Tier 2. Heliolisk and Tyrantrum were moved up from Tier 4 to Tier 3, while Diancy and Trevenant were moved down from Tier 3 to Tier 4. Seismitoad and Wobbuffet were moved from Tier 5 to Tier 4, and just to clarify, Shadow Tag Wobbuffet is allowed. Now, if you want to keep up with the stats of Season 6 as the season begins and progresses, stay tuned with the GBA for a fan Google document that will cover all that good stuff. Anything else we gotta say, Spastic? Nope, that about covers it. Well, that's all. Thank you for your time, GBA fans, because that is all the time we've got.